Hewer Anka Davis. Uh, Clever, can I just check? Do I need to read my question? No, you don't. Been... You just Deal... um, uh, ask a question. Deal... Deal... Uh, Minister, there has been real and understandable anger at the crude label of low skilled, which the UK Government has now levelled against people such as social workers, when we know that they are not low skilled, they are low paid. And you simply cannot put a value on the precious human qualities of compassion and care. How would he respond to Dr Moira Fraser Pierce, the Director of Policy at Macmillan Cancer Support, who has written saying, the government's plan for a points-based immigration system paints a concerning picture for a health and care system already under record pressure. The government must create a separate migration route for social care as well as clarifying what specific measures will be put in place to protect the NHS workforce to ensure that people with cancer get the right support when they need it. Any immigration reform, she says, that prevents social care workers from working in the UK could mean that some of the most vulnerable people, including those living with cancer, suffer the consequences. How would he respond to that and what representations will he be making to the UK Government? Well, I think he describes in a very vivid way some of the um, very real pressures and challenges and, and impacts that uh, people in Wales will suffer. And I think his question is a retort to the question that Neil Hamilton raised earlier. I agree with him, as you will have heard me say today, uh, dialogue earlier, um, that people working in the care sector, in particular in the way perhaps that he has described today, uh, do work of very great skill. Uh, and we have advocated a position in Wales uh, for a migration policy which has a uh, which is, uh, reflects a different skill set and a different salary level in order for that to work uh, in the interests of public services in Wales, but also of the people of Wales who need the kind of support that he is describing. And it is the case uh, that um, uh, there are many thousands of people from the European Union working in our care sector, um, either as providers of care or nurses in different settings. We want them to stay and continue providing those services, but we also don't want to put artificial barriers in the place of more people coming to take their place uh, to fulfil what is a very real need.